Hey, it's uh, Daryl, and I've just been helping uh, a family member set up a broadband modem that was sent by the Department of Education. So it comes in a box like this. So if you're in New Zealand and you um, have children at school and you don't have broadband at home, the Department of Education, as far as I know, they're sending everybody a broadband modem. Uh, which has got 4G wireless broadband and um, it comes in a box um, and it looks like this on the outside and then if you slide that open um, it has a box it's made by Huawei a Chinese uh, company doesn't matter who cares um, and it's this thing and if you open it up and plug it in it um, it looks like this so you get get one of these and um, I've plugged in my computer into the back um, and I just peep when I took it out of the box I followed the instructions but I couldn't make it work and so this is just a shortcut on how to make the thing go I got it to work eventually after trying three times and if you turn it upside down um, I've put a little sticker on this little thing, but there's, if it's a Department of Education provide one, it has this little sticker on it that says jump. Other people might be able to buy, you can buy jump modems online when you'll get one of these. And um, these are super cheap. Um, so they go to people on low income, so I, I gather. Um, and but the Department of Education, I think they got 60,000 of these and posted them out to people who don't have broadband at home so children can do um, online learning. And on the bottom, there's a sticker as well. So just to, I'll point this out. So if, if you haven't managed to make the thing go, but you have um, a cell phone or something in your house that's got internet access, you can shortcut the whole thing and make it um, actually much easier to get online. So I'll just explain how to do that. So if you go to this web page, so I'll just rearrange this. Here we go. Just rearrange that. And the... Um, open up this web page. So what you type in here, now I'll make this big so you can so you can see it. Hopefully, no, maybe I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, just just here on the screen, it's www.skinny.co.nz slash help slash sim dash not slash no slash sim dash not dash activated i'll put a link in the um thing um but you can only do it on a functional internet connection um when i tried to do it online which you should be able to do online it didn't work so when you open this page here on this banner here in the middle are you a skinny jump customer you'll need to register first click here to get started click on click on that and then when you click on that, so you do this on a, on a phone or a tablet, something that's connected to the internet, not through, not through this modem. You should be able to do it through this, but it didn't work when I did it. Um, so click on, click on that link on orange, and then hopefully it will open up. And on, on this page here, on the broadband tab, it has these two numbers, the skinny broadband number and the verification code. And remember when I showed you on here, um, no, sorry, the side here, there's this orange sticker with jump written on there. It has two code numbers. My one's stuck on conveniently upside down, doesn't matter. Um, you read those numbers out, there's two, there's like a, a big number, about a 12, 12 or 15 digit number, type it into the air and a, I don't know, another one, about seven or eight digits for the verification code and then click activate. So if you do that on a phone, something that's just connected to broadband on um, 3G or 4G or whatever on your phone, you can actually make the modem start working. Um, and so that's, what is that? www.skinny.co.nz slash register slash activate hash that's that symbol um, broadband <laughs> and um, then you can actually make the thing work um, and just furthermore 
once you get this thing on, if you connect to its Wi-Fi, so you've got a Chromebook or something that you get from school, if you can connect to this, you can connect to the Wi-Fi and then type in an, on the address, there's an IP number on the bottom. It's just written in tiny little writing. And this one's 192.168.8.1. And that will get you to the configuration page so you can configure this thing. Um, anyway, that, that might be a big help for um, people who got those. It's awesome that the government and the Department of Ministry of Education um, sent those out to as far as I know, 60,000 families that don't have broadband at home. In New Zealand, there's about 200,000 households that before the disaster didn't have broadband at home. And so um, 60,000, that's a good chunk. And the other people who still don't have broadband are probably people who just don't want it and don't have children and probably don't use uh, internets or cell phones and just don't care. So hopefully that's good. Um, but otherwise, if you're interested, I think you can probably get these. Um, it's called Skinny Jump. So if you search for Skinny Jump online, um, then you might better you might be able to get um, you might get one of those um, and get on online cheap. the The cheapest plan they have was amazingly cheap. It was five dollars for 30 gigabytes. So there's some people if you just if you spend just half an hour on the web each day, um, you might find that that's a perfectly good plan for you to have for your household broadband. Um, I do have another tip um, on on iPhones and iPads. I'll see if I can. I'll just bring up the setting. So once you connect um, settings, I'll just, I'll just try and show you on my iPad. Um, so once you connect to iPhone, here we go. Uh, what's it called? Um, yeah. So once once you can once you connect on the on an iPad, I'll t I'll turn the camera around. Yeah, yeah. Um, once once you connect, see that little, so I called it skinny jump and connected to that Wi-Fi. Um, it's got a weird, it's got a, a bunch of code numbers and letters that it uses if you don't name it yourself. See that little um, blue eye in the circle? If you click on that, there's an option on there that says um, low data mode, low data mode, low data mode. And if you turn that low data mode on, then your device will not do a whole bunch of stuff that wastes your data. Um, just with these things, the amount of internet that comes on it is a little bit limited. But what's awesome is it gives you a six gigabytes for use every school day morning at about 9 a.m. So even if you use it all up watching too much Netflix or YouTube videos, there's enough data given to give children their daily amount of schoolwork each day. So it's really good. So this is my um, my nephew's one. So we'll give that back um, when he needs to use it. And um, that, that might that might work. But yeah, it was a little bit weird because the, the registration just didn't work when I um, tried it first. Anyway, I hope that's helpful for anybody who's received one of those in the mail.